Exactly. That That's neat. The collagen of glue sticks because what what it is. <laughs> Is, you know, okay, so you've got your morphogenetic field, mm -hmm. which is when you picture something, when you, because the universe is all consciousness, mm -hmm. it's a hologram made up of life force energy. Mm. So when you think about something, it makes a scaffolding for it that is invisible. So it's like the wire that people use to make sculptures. Okay. And then if you continue with trust, love, expectation mm -hmm. then it creates a gravitational pull to matter it's going to come and stick to that like when you put paper mache on your mm -hmm. little mold and if you don't chip away at it by doubt maybe it wouldn't be that cool but if i have that then i'll have to give up this that whole magic comes with a price thing it's not true if you're in alignment with divine mm -hmm. clockwork you know if in that case you're just it it just gives you more and more amazingness at all times so once the morphogenetic field is created, once you've got the clear picture, and you want to make it as clear as you can, as long as what you're doing matters to you. So say you want to manifest, um, I don't know. It has to be important some, to you. Yeah, some object. Give me something that someone might want to manifest. A like, new car. Okay, a new car, right? So say you want to manifest a new car. Think about the car, make it as clear as you can, but if the color doesn't matter to you, don't get clear about a color. Because you don't want to send in weird vibrations. You want to you wanna send, because the, the, the energy of desire is also what pulls it in. You know, if you're, if you're really wanting something, if you're really drawing that into you, that energy of desire is what pulls it in, if you forget about it. I'm sure that this happens a lot with relationships. Someone mm -hmm. will say, observe a relationship or observe some type of situation, person, whatever, and think, oh, that would be lovely, and then let it go. And then the next relationship they get and they'll remember that moment and be like, oh yeah, that second of desire kind of lassoed something and pulled it in. And then you look the other way and forgot, but it's still moving mm -hmm. toward you. So, so what you want to do is imbue your morphogenetic field, your scaffolding, your picture, once you get it clear with what matters to you, with the energy of gratitude. Because what gratitude is, it's, it's a dual kind of swirly together of two different vibrational forces. The first one is acceptance that something is already real. Because you can't be grateful for something if it doesn't exist. And the second one is love, hmm. which is the glue. Collagen of glue sticks. That's mm -hmm. what made me think about it. So if you, can, if you can imagine that you're sitting in this new car, mm. you can look at what matters to you. For instance, something that matters to a lot of people right now is that it say interface with a smartphone, because that's mm -hmm. just convenient. So you would want it to interface with a smartphone. And you, you imagine, and also certain loopholes to do are like, for instance, one of my big, one of my big, big mm -hmm. dreams mm -hmm. is the moment when the whole world is united in mm -hmm. awesomeness and celebration. Twitter is going crazy and the radios are mm -hmm. going and the TVs are going because we've just, clarified the last source of fresh water on our planet. Wow. You can drink any water anywhere now that's not salty, right? Mm -hmm. That's that's a vision I have, but it's a good loophole vision because in order to have cleaned the last one, you already have to have cleaned up so many. We already have had to figure out how to do it and mm -hmm. whatever. So for instance, what you can do is you can imagine you're sitting in your car and your car is awesome and it's better than you expected. That's a good thing to always put into your manifestations. Mm -hmm. And you're plugging in your smartphone or it's, or it's interfacing or say it rings and you pick up and you're talking as you're driving. Mm -hmm. And you feel just this burst of, ah, oh, this is great. Thanks, universe. Or thanks, past self, which is a fun thing to do. Like sometimes when I'm traveling, I'll look at my luggage and find a chocolate bar that I forgot that I put in there. <laughs> it's like, that I love it self when moment. that happens when you get into your pocket and you're like, oh, oh yeah. there's a five dollar <laughs> bill I forgot. It. Winter coats. That might be a good practice to just do, like if you're if you're cleaning out your purse and going to stuff it in the closet, just put a twenty in there yeah. and just forget. That you're doing it. <laughs> so so yeah, gratitude is acceptance is already real, and, and it's all, that's important. That it's already real. Yeah. So you can't live in oh I don't have it, and one day if I were to, that's doubtful. So yeah. you have to say you already have it. Okay. Yes. And so if you can just imagine that moment where you pick up your phone mm -hmm. on the car. And then it starts pouring out of you. Just this gratitude is just, oh, this is great, thanks. And then as soon as it starts to go or you lose the vision, stop. Put it, Put away, it away and come back here. Okay. And so every time you want to think about it, open it back up again. Oh, yeah, that's awesome. And then put it away because mm -hmm. you don't want to chip away at it. Okay.